Now let me discuss example number 20. See, this rational function is given in the question. Y equals to x plus a into x plus b divided by x plus c. We are supposed to find minimum value of this expression only for x greater than minus c. Minimum of y for all x greater than minus c. But first, 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 we'll find the values y can take for all x belongs to R. Let us find that. First, find values y can take for all x belongs to R and later we'll see only x greater than minus C region. Now this is a typical question. There are many solved examples based on this and you would know what to do in this case. Cross multiply expresses quadratic in x. We get this. You can do you can you can write these steps yourself. We get this x square plus a plus b in minus y into x plus a b minus c y equal to zero. Now as x can take all real values, x belongs to R, we put d greater than equal to zero. Right? and t greater than equal to 0 will give us inequality in terms of y. Now simplify this inequality in terms of y and express in, express in quadratic form of y. That the few steps you can do yourself or you can just refer the module. This is inequality in terms of y. We solve this inequality, right? Quadratic inequality. And solution would be y can take values. Y can take values. Y belongs to minus infinity to root of a minus c minus root of b minus c whole square union root of a minus c plus root of b minus c whole square infinity now we need to these are all the values y can take from minus infinity to this value and from this value to infinity so this is the range of y now we need to decide we need to see the minimum value y can take only for x greater than minus c right what we need to see here is c less than a implies minus c greater than minus a as well as c less than b implies minus c less than minus b so number line let's not draw this on so number line minus c is towards right of minus a and minus b we have no idea whether minus a is the leftmost or minus b is the leftmost but we don't need not know that minus c is important now we need to find range of values y can take on right of minus a and you can see the points of intersection of this rational function of x with x axis are minus a and minus b right and now there is no point of intersection of the graph with this part on right on right of minus a there is no point of intersection and what we know is we can at x equal to minus c, y take uh, on right from right side y takes infinitely large value, and and if you see the range of the values y can take, it goes to infinity also. So basically, and, and if you see sine sine method, then 
y can take positive values here y is negative here positive here negative here so on right hand side of minus c graph will take this shape we don't need to plot the graph we just need to see that this value is the minimum value we need to figure out and minimum value here is this value is root of a minus c plus root of b minus c whole square the greater value and this is the graph on left of minus c so you can see now it justifies the values y can take from my y the values y can take from minus infinity to this value and this value is root of a minus c minus root of b minus c whole square right and this value should be more than this value because y cannot take values between these y cannot take values between these two y lies outside these two values and as this is more than this so we can say on right of minus c the minimum value y can take is this so x greater than minus c y min equals to root of a minus c plus root of b minus c whole square